Hello viewers, welcome to the section Building a Web Application with Spring MVC. In this section we will learn about Java Web Application Architecture Creating a few simple web flows using Spring MVC Important concepts behind Spring MVC Handler mappings and interceptors Spring MVC advanced features and Spring security Now we move on to the video Java Web Application Architecture In this video we will look at various architectures of Java Web Application the way we develop Java web applications has evolved during the last couple of decades. We will now discuss the different architectural approaches to develop Java web applications and see where Spring MVC fits in. Model 1 architecture. Model 2 or MVC architecture. Model 2 with front controller. Model 1 architecture is one of the initial architecture styles used to develop Java-based web applications. A few important details are JSP pages directly handled the requests from the browser. JSP pages made use of the model containing simple Java beans. In some applications of this architecture style, JSPs even perform queries to the database. JSPs also handled the flow logic, which page to show next. This picture represents typical Model 1 architecture. There are lots of disadvantages in this approach, leading to quick shelving and the evolution of other architectures. A few important disadvantages are hardly any separation of concerns. JSPs were responsible for retrieving data, displaying data, deciding which pages to show next, and sometimes even business logic as well. Complex JSPs. Because JSPs handled a lot of logic, they were huge and difficult to maintain. Model 2 architecture came in to solve the complexity involved with complex JSPs having multiple responsibilities. This forms the base for the MVC architecture style. This image represents typical Model 2 architecture. Model 2 architecture has a few important details. First will be model which represents the data to be used to generate a view. Next is view which uses the model to render the screen. The last one will be controller which controls the flow, gets the request from the browser, populates the model and redirects to the view. In the basic version of model 2 architecture, the requests from the browser are handled directly by different servlets. In a number of business scenarios, one would want to do a few common things in servlets before we handle the request. An example would be to ensure that the logged in user has the right authorization to execute the request. This is a common functionality that you would not want to be implemented in every servlet. In Model 2 front controller architecture, all requests flow into a single controller called the front controller. The picture represents typical Model 2 front controller architecture. Now we will see some of the responsibilities of a typical front controller. It decides which controller executes the request, it decides which view to render. It provides provisions to add more common functionality. Spring MVC uses an MVC pattern with front controller. The front controller is called dispatcher servlet. In this video, we have learned Java web application architecture.